Here I am in an old castle that used to be used in the old days of Joseon, Korea. And here I am doing another book review in my precious vacation time. Hello fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the book quester. Today, well, I didn't really bring the book with me, but today I'm gonna review the book Gates by John Connolly himself. And well, let's get right on to it. So, our dear main character is Samuel. He is, I don't know, he's kind of like a child prodigy kind of philosopher, I don't know. He, he talks about things like angels and pins and all sorts of weird stuff. And he, 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 didn't, he did have a lot of friends, it was just that, well, people thought he was kind of weird in a way, to be honest. And, but... One day, she, he decided that he was being smart, and he decided to get a head start on Halloween. And he went to Mr. Abernathy's house to get a little bit of a head start. When, of course, things started to go well. He heard a big BAM! And with his trusty dog, he sneaked a peek a look inside the Abernathy's basement. And at that same moment, the Abernathy's have been performing a ritual that they didn't know what, they, what it did. That it opened a gateway, a portal, to hell itself. At the same exact time of, well, that time, the particle accelerator of CERN had been going active and finally had been totally activated. Which was a little bit of a coincidence, wasn't it? And then started something started to go wrong. A gateway opened and a particle, some sort of energy that they didn't know what was called, entered Earth. And at that exact same time, a swirling blue portal appeared in the Abernathy's basement and some things came out, dragged the Abernathy's and their friends in and replaced them with demons. Which is, wow, okay, it's pretty crazy. And, well, and then Samuel encountered a problem that hundreds of children over the world had, and in so many fantasy books. Their parents don't believe them, because, Mom, I saw Mr. Abernathy perform a hellish ritual, and now they're all replaced with demons. And then her mom's like, do you need to see their therapist, Samuel? Which is understandable, I'd say, but still... I mean, come on, can't you just, like, do something? But Alaz, Mrs. Abernathy, the one who got turned into a demon, a very powerful demon too, had seen the little boy, Samuel, and now she was vowing to hunt him down. Meanwhile, Samuel tries to get anyone, anyone to believe him, and, de and a small demon named Nerd comes over from the hellish dimension, and the Satan, the great malevolence, the king of hell, is coming to claim the earth as his own. Can Samuel, one little boy, without the help of uh, maybe the US Marines, um, can defeat such evil? Well, a little bit of science, a little bit of luck, a little bit of friendship can help him through this. And with his friends, he manages, or not manages, to defeat Satan. It's not possible to fight him, so... Hmm, what's the way to stop Satan from coming to the Earth? Oh, I know, there's a little bit of a portal thing going on, it's super unstable, and you can put something big through it and it'll collapse and... And anyway, so, I, we hope that he'll stop him, but, to be sure, uh, just to be sure, you should buy the book and read it. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Thanks for watching, have a fantastic day, read some books please, I mean, like, what else are you gonna do?